And welcome back to the Spiffy Needle Geeks playing Super Mario RPG. We are at the finale, ladies and gentlemen. Use up all your flower jars, because it's time to face the final For boss. the final showdown! You interrupted me, God. Oh, sorry. Time to be all dramatic <laughs> and shit, you have to go ruin it! <laughs> anyway. So... Down this, down this hole we go to where they're all, to where all the machines are coming from. Smithy himself. And for some reason, he's wearing the star piece as an accessory on his stomach. <laughs> what exactly is coming out of that nozzle? It. I'm guessing it's some kind of like melted metal. Yeah, something like that. It's not even it's not even dripping on the work table. SNES. Roll with it. <laughs> he's not even listening. No, nope. he's just make he's just doing his thing. He just sits here all day. All right, listen, Mario. I don't have time right now. I have a lot of orders I need to fill. So if you don't mind. Yeah, I got I gotta go back and, and remake everything you fuckers destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Seriously, management is riding on my ass because of the damage you guys have done, alright? <laughs> Better yet, why don't you give me your stars? <laughs> you know, first time I first time I read that, I was so scared that this was gonna become become one of those like, you know, oh we just Oh, we still have all. We still we we brought the MacGuffins with us, so we effectively hand delivered them to the enemy on accident. Luckily, it doesn't. So you know. Oh, okay. Here we go, folks. Smithy. So there's actually two things you can fight: either the smelter or Smithy himself. Beating up the smelter will stop will will stop Smithy from being able to create mooks. Ow! Didn't <laughs> hurt. <laughs> well, thank God I had spikes on my shell. Yeah, I'd imagine something like that wouldn't affect Bowser. <laughs> yeah. So I guess... Uh, quit ruining my equipment! So I guess, all said and done, what are you guys' opinions on, like, ultimate enemies that you never actually see until the very end? Like, you hear a lot about them, and you you, you find a lot of their mooks, but you never actually see them until the very end. What do you, what do you guys think of enemies like that? I'd uh... like to think that... I'd like to think that if you... I know a lot of games that do this as well, but I'd like to think that if the game itself, like, depending on the characters who work for said final boss and stuff, like, can immerse the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The feeling of all that he's done, even when you don't see him. I think that can, I think that's a good way of, like, portraying what a final boss is like when, and then when you actually get to him and see what he's like in full when you fight him. I think it really, for me, I think it just, it really depends on how everything is handled because, I mean, that's like, uh, Spoiler warning, take Final Fantasy VIII, for example. You know, your ultimate uh, villain, like the mastermind behind everything, it's like, yeah, you hear so much about her. Pretty much from, like, you know, through, like, the second half of the game, you hear so much about her. And, yeah, you do not even, you don't meet her or anything until the very end. And, you know, you're, even though you encounter her through, like, you know, mooks and everything, and it's like... The downside, I think, for me at least when it came to Final Fantasy VIII, was some of the other villains were way more fascinating than the main bad guy. It's like, you know, by the time you get to her, it's like, okay, yeah, let's just take this bitch down and be done with it. But, you know, when you... But previous villains that you've been fighting up until that point, I thought were way more interesting. So it's like, you know, there is that... There is that risk, and it's like, I'm sure it can be done well. I haven't seen it be done well, though. Right, right. Not even in this game? Mm. It's like, you know, yeah, I mean, we hear a lot about Smithy, and then it's like, okay, we got to you. Alright, let's just kick your ass. This, uh, yeah. I mean, I'd like, again, I'd like to think that the message and the, uh... Like, the immersion that he gives throughout the game, before you actually get to him, can be a good benefactor of, like, bosses like that. I suppose. But, I mean, that's like, you know... Actually, it's like, off the top of my head, you want to, like, um... 
like a villain that you hear throughout the game and then you meet maybe not in, maybe not at the very end but you hear you get to him like you know relatively close to the end Andrew Ryan from Bioshock that to me was a good example of how you can do that right because like all throughout that game and everything I mean yeah he'll occasionally talk to you and everything so that you do have some like you know you do have a direct connection some kind of communication with the guy so that by the time you get to that whole you know what separates a man from a slave, you know, a man chooses, a slave obeys. Like, by the time you get to that scene, it's like, holy shit. It's like, it's a, it's a great scene. Hmm. Yeah, because, like, uh, you never really... Well, actually, before anything else, just made the blue a gasket. Think, I'm so fucking pissed think off. Think of your blood pressure. You have blood. No, try to f find your happy place, Master Smithy. Find your happy place. There is no happy place with him around. I'm, I'm more concerned. I'm, I'm more wondering if this guy actually has blood because it looks like he's a robot. I mean, his arm is made of chain link and such. Like, is there really blood in this guy? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe if um if he's one of those uh, robots that are also organic. I guess. So Organic the shyster. Robots? So the shyster. He was saying how, like, I am assuming this foundry or whatever it was built yesterday. So yeah, like, like that was that was something that always that always struck me as well, Danny. Like, so I like, either. Wait, so I this was built yesterday, so this entire adventure <clears throat> happened in the span of a day. Either that. Or you know he was just working somewhere else, and they they just built that and they just built that one yesterday. Who knows? Okay. So in which case, suddenly, RP suddenly we're in fucking Earthbound. Yep, and of course RPG. That's not his final form. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. My precious Monkey. modeling career is ruined thanks to you. Only I have the power to rule the Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, Andros. <laughs> so, Smithy, you show your true form. Yes, and thank you, Brandon, for getting the reference. <laughs> da. Anyway, I, I, I play. I played Star Fox. We all have. Right. In any which case, Smithy had. <laughs> <laughs> there are two parts to Smithy. There's his head and his body. <clears throat> um. I don't recall exactly there, how this fight works. Is there any difference, and uh, which one do you attack? I know they have, they have, like, they count as separate enemies, so they both take separate turns. Like the body will mostly, yeah, like the body can take a turn, take up a turn to morph the head, just like that. Uh, the body can also hit you with its hammer. Its other hand has has a finger bullets like Gino, so he's able to shoot you. Um, the head itself will take turns depending on what its form is. Like in the tank form. It, it's physical. It shoots at you. As such. There's another form it can take where it takes the form of a mage. Where its head, its head takes the form of a mage. And then he can do magic. But ah, when you, def when you defeat okay. the body like that, yeah, the body will no longer be, be able to attack you. So that'll be one less thing, one less thing to worry about. Hmm. Well, the worst part is, this is exactly where I stopped... In Super Mario RPG before um, a break in I had in my house a few years ago. Ugh. Yeah, so God damn. I, I I kinda couldn't finish the game because of that, but Like I I, I won't explain much past that, but yeah, just right. just know that that ha that happened while I was still in high school. Ugh. So I never really got a chance to finish this game because of it. God damn. Like, thank God I'm out of that neighborhood. <laughs> now, I'm trying to recall. I don't know if you, like, explained this not too long ago or what now, but with each transformation of the head, like, does each particular kind of head have his own weakness or anything? I believe so. Because, like, you see me most... Like, I believe the tank can take more physical hits, where the mage can take more magic hits. Ah, oh, okay. All right, Ma makes sense. I, I guess you, you. And there's oh. the mage. I, huh. 
Okay. It's kind of an odd thing That's... to turn your head into. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I, hell, that doesn't even look like a mage, per se. It looks like a firm reaper. You know what? I've played this game for fucking years, and now that I'm actually looking at it, look where the nose is. I'm so angry. <laughs> ah. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, honestly, I was kind of hoping that, like, not not a big change with his head or whatnot, but I, I was just kind of imagining, like, when he turned into the mage, like, instead of transforming into this, he actually just puts on, like, a wizard wizard hat, like a blue wizard hat with a Mickey Mouse ears. He's like, God damn it. I was in Disney <laughs> World before I conquered the Mushroom Kingdom. He's like, it look <laughs> or it's like, hell, it's, you know, you get Square involved, and, you know, deck him out like a black mage. <laughs> Heck yeah. Ow. Just give him like the big straw hat or whatnot, but oh shit, that means his face had to turn like black and uh, his eyes would turn yellow. You know, goddammit. <laughs> he he that shot That would be one hell of a kid. He okay. shot Gino but only did like eight damage. Even here the even here bullets are fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Well this was this was also made by Square, so I can I guess I can see why, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That is also true. <laughs> Ugh. So, whenever Smithy does sword rain, I can't help but think of Tales of Symphonia. Or, or Earthbound, because that was an attack that Porky had as well, I believe. So, whenever I see sword dance, I think of that one Pokemon move that greatly increases your attack power. Let, sword that, rain, that, not that sword dance. dance. What? Yeah. That's the... Oh. Close enough. Anyway. Not, not close really. enough, he says. <laughs> it involves swords. Also, swords dance doesn't hurt you. God. Yeah. <laughs> and? And he morphed back to his normal head just to turn it back into the mage. Oh. Well, like okay. Fuck? You know, I, you know, I just, you know, I was thinking about turning back into the tank, but I, uh, I changed my mind. And in any which oh, case, well, that, it doesn't matter now. that does it, ladies and gentlemen. And that was Smithy. The final boss has been defeated. As I was alluding to earlier, kind of underwhelming. Yeah, really. Yeah. I mean, it was all this build-up to him. Even, even his explosion is underwhelming. It's better than Digimon DS, at least. <laughs> this is true. That, yeah, that is true. <laughs> this is an NES game. <laughs> <laughs> SNES game, God. Send the last one up high. It's a good thing the star piece didn't get caught in the explosion. <laughs> That'd be some shit. Oh no, the last star piece got got, <laughs> got broken to five more pieces. Now we gotta go find those. All that shit I had to go through, completely pointless. <laughs> it's just a waste of time. <laughs> you know that 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 would, that would be the funniest plot twist ever. Is if that actually did happen? It's like, oh, you got the last star piece. It breaks into five pieces. Go find the last five pieces of the last star piece. They all fell into Sarasa land. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the funniest plot twist ever. Jesus Christ. Yay. Seizures. Not really. No, no, not even close, BJ. Not even close. <laughs> yeah, not, not really. But now, with G with Gino's duty done, the Star Road is back to normal, and he can go Yay, home. Yay! We have Rainbow Road again. Yep. And now, Gino. And now, with 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 wishes, with wishes being being able to be granted again, Gino can now leave the doll and go home. Please, Gino, come back. We all miss. No! We all miss you. We want you to become a real boy. We want you to become a real Smash Bros. character. You know, be the. You know, would be the biggest kick in the teeth if, like, they did bring this character back, but he possessed something else besides the Gino doll. <laughs> oh god! Like it's the same guy, the same spirit, just a different doll, so it's not technically Gino anymore. That'd be like the biggest kick in the teeth. <laughs> Put that right there, folks. That's the, that's that's the real. Well, not really Gino, because Gino was the name of the doll. That was the spirit possessing him. Quick, grab a jar, catch him. Yeah, the, Put him back the in name, the doll. The, the name that's hard to pronounce. <laughs> Put him back in the doll. <laughs> Put him into the jar and shake it up. Well, why would you do that? 
<laughs> Put the doll and the spirit in a jar together and shake it up and hope it works. <laughs> well, why, why would you do that? <laughs> I want you to come back to life as a doll! But Gino's not dead. <laughs> well, I mean, you want to think about... Te- not like that, you idiot! If you want to, well, I mean, <laughs> Russell, if you want to think about it technically, he's a spirit. He's not really a part of the physical plane. That doesn't necessarily mean he's dead. Well, if you're a spirit, you're, if you're a spirit, you're not really alive either. <laughs> like this guy, who's not alive anymore. Hmm. Bowser, why don't you come with us? You could have stayed back at your <laughs> castle. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I just want to have a good view of my keep without it being. Entangled. I want to make. Sh- also, I want to make sure the sword also, is gone. Also, can I? Also, can I say something real quick? Yeah. What? This is this is one of the greatest ending themes to a Mario game I've ever heard. Yeah, we get a little. Where are they now? Malo goes. Malo goes home and takes his place as the rightful prince. Yay! Also, you know, I gotta say, I'm laughing at when this when when, when Exor disappears out of the castle and the skies become clear. I imagine Bowser going, "Shit, shit! Now I gotta get all those clouds back. I gotta make it look menacing again." <laughs> Anyone got Mother Nature's phone number? Speaking of which, is about Bowser actually helping repair his castle. Oh, this is, this is why I say that, that's that's nice. This is why I say this is like one of the games where Bowser's like the most empathetic, like to his minions and such. Oh yeah, and then, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Usually, he, people like him would just you know let the minions do all the work. No, no, no. He he pitches in too. Uh, John, doesn't he do the same? I'm pretty sure he does the same thing in like uh, like Bowser's Inside Story. No, or in, any of the in, other in that, in that game, games. in that game, he ends up cast up. Well, well, th- not that game in particular. Uh, the, the Mario and Luigi series in general. Uh, like I've se- I've seen Bowser have that kind of attitude before in those games. So this isn't the only one. Get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> and now Meanwhile, Krako tries to get his earnings from the Yoshi races. Now Krako and now Krako and Boshi are bros. Yay! We're gonna cause some shit. <laughs> It's like I need your help to steal some shit. Now you see, this would be ironic if you if you never did all the, all, all the quests for this guy. I oh. did though, so it's cool. <laughs> yeah, Russell, yeah. Russell, you miss all the music stuff, by the way. Mm. You fool! I've been busy. <laughs> and She's been Valentina busy, gets says. married to a uh, booster. Yeah. Yes, I have been busy. Everyone knows this. What? Yeah, that's... At, at the at the at the, t- at the time. Well, maybe not the time that this this goes. Well, up, well but... no, 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 Russell, Russell, not that. Like, like I think Danny's what was more so to Valentina and Booster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no, oh, no, I, I, no, no, not 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 towards Danny, towards Ryan. Well, anyway, thank you so much for to playing my game. See you next time. Wink. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> and now. Time for a parade with Luigi finally out of the dentist. <laughs> hey, there we go. You're uh, Luigi. Mario, where, where have you been? <laughs> His whopping. Hey, Ma- hey Mario, like... do I finally get my cameo yet? Yeah, really. It's a good bot, man. <laughs> so, overall, final thoughts in this game? Very cute. I mean, it's like, you know, if you're going to do, like, yeah, I mean, back in the day, if you were going to do Mario as an RPG, you really could not have done better than this. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, it's nowhere near, like, the, uh, like, the complexities and shit of Final Fantasy, but still cute. Still enjoyable. And there, nowadays, there definitely are better Mario RPGs, like, you know, Paper Mario, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, a couple of the Mario and Luigi games, in my opinion, like Bowser's Inside Story and... Oh, I don't know actually. Cause I, 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 Bowser's Inside Story, I really love. To be honest, though, I think I, I like this game more than the other Mario and Luigi games, besides from Bowser's Inside Story. Um, Dream Team, Paper Jam. I still haven't beaten Dream Team. Paper Paper Jam, I thought was just okay. Like I enjoyed it, but it, I felt it was really short and very basic. Um, Superstar Saga, I thought was okay. Partners in Tw- Time, I really like, just not that much. Like not as much as this game or Bowser's Inside Story. I actually haven't tried Partners in Time. That was the first one I played, and I enjoyed it. Like, people seem to think that... People keep have a high opinion on that one being the worst. I like it the most. I, I like it a lot, though. Oh, uh, which one? Partners in Time? Yeah, the, the second one. Oh. 
Well, well, what is this I'm hearing so much about? What was it? Um, Sticker Star or something? Don't like, get us started. We don't. We don't talk about no. Sticker Star. Yeah, that's we don't that's talk about a Sticker rant Star here. for another day. <laughs> you know, actually, you know, you know what? Fuck it. You know, we have we have four minutes left in the video. Let's just, let's just let's let's go at it, Russell. Uh, oh you God! Know, can, can can it wait until I decide to actually? <laughs> like, I, well, hmm. Uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Can, can I wait until I think about if I'm actually going to do an LP of it? Why? <laughs> That'd be the most boring LP ever. But we'd be proving a point this way. Uh, we'd, really, uh, we'd really have to uh, get a riff on for that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, uh, well, anyway. Now, coming from someone who... Unfortunately, didn't really get too much into uh, Super Nintendo for reasons, I guess. It's like, looking at very well done games like this, it's like, I am literally punching myself in the face for not trying to get in on not just this game, like, around its time, but just the Super Nintendo in general. Because, yeah, I mean, I've played the Super Nintendo a little bit, but for the most part, it was either Donkey Kong Country or Mortal Kombat 3. But that was really just it. I missed out on a lot. So seeing a very well done RPG and for a Mario RPG for that matter, it, it I kind of feel guilty for not getting in on this because yeah, for what it is, yeah, this is a really done RPG game, especially really in the is. Mario series. And now we have a it really is grade. like you. I feel like this would be one of those games where, oh, if Nintendo was going to be trying a completely different take on the Mario series, because ever since, like, like the 1980s, Mario's been really known for um, just being the platforming genre that it is today. And for them to take a step in a completely different direction, but a really good one at that, and for it to be able to spawn so many other Mario RPGs in the lineup past this, some of, most of which would have done very well as well, so... Right, I really, right. I really think that Super Mario RPG was like the pioneer of just bringing Mario into a new light that everyone could enjoy. That didn't have to be strictly just platformers. What do you think it was? Like I said, most of the RPGs past this. Words. Well, I mean, because after this was paper, the first Paper Mario, which was fantastic. After that, it was Super. I forget. Did Superstar Saga come come after that, or was it? Thousand years ago that came after that. Either way, both it, really good games. Uh, yeah. Then we got you know Partners in Time, which was okay. Super Paper Mario, which which is that, that's when Paper Mario started kind of like going a, a, against the RPG method. Though, don't get me wrong, Super Paper Mario I thought was really good. I, I, I really enjoyed that game. Then we got Bowser's Inside Story, and then it kind of went downhill from there after that. Like Bowser's Inside Story, I thought was like a pinnacle peak. Oh no! Tha yeah. Don't, you know, you know what? No, Thousand Year Door. Yeah, Thousand I, I, Year I Door guess, was fantastic. You, you, well, Thousand Year well, Door. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you said you didn't play Dream Team, or you didn't beat it. I didn't beat it. You probably should. I think you'd really like it. Well, I, I, I plan on getting back to it. I tried beating it before Paper Jam came out, but then Paper Jam came out, and I wanted to play that instead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, like it's like Thousand Year Door is like my favorite game of all time. That's a game I play at least once a year. Once a year. Yeah, like that was I, that I felt was like the pinnacle of our of, of the Mario RPGs. That was the incentive. Yeah, I, I, I believe well. it. I <laughs> believe it. You know, like come to think of it, as of right now, it's the summer time. I still need to do another playthrough of Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Spoilers? What? No, what? No, no. It's like no, le legitimately. Like I don't know why. It's like. Sonic Heroes was that good of a game that it's like it's it's become one of those games where it's like okay I would play it at least once a year like once a summer or whatnot. Same thing with like a Sonic Adventure Two Battle like once every fucking winter. Well, with that all said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for the for, for this awesome adventure of Super Mario RPG. We hope you all enjoyed it. We hope you got some laughs in it, if at all. And join us next time as we continue on our next adventure. Speaking of which, where's my watch cleaner? Summoning Charming! Oh, no,